So let's apply. Is it glitter on top or on the inside? There we go. Let's apply pink press on tilt to the inside of the one, two, three, go. And these are pre-etched already. As you guys know, all of our newer shapes and styles are pre-etched, so you don't have to do anything to the inside. I see companies now coming out with full coverage gel nails because now everybody and their mom wants to sell full coverage gel nails. But I'm like, well, first of all, ours are made here in America. So that's difference number one. Difference number two, ours are pre-etched. And ours are different shapes. We have the biggest variety of shapes and styles in the industry, without a doubt. 1 fish, 2 fish, but the spike is a fang. So let us apply. Now this one needs a little bit more press on gel. You could probably use a spike to hurt somebody with it. And I like press on gel so much in pink, I'm actually working on a color for a BB Ombre that's very similar to it. Well, only your gel nails are the best, Max. Ain't that the truth? It actually feels nice that so many people want to copy what I do now because they want to try to capitalize on the um, huge popularity of full cover gel nails. But you know, we, we weren't the first, but we definitely did it the best like the commercial says. Can pink press on gel be used simply as a base? And she can, she can. That's what I wear on my nails. So let's make sure we freeze her in place properly. Freeze, 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 so that way she doesn't go anywhere. Beautiful. So let us bake her for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Very essential to bake that final layer of gel for at least one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Any layer of gel, when you want a full cure, you need to do at least one minute to make sure it is properly cured and all those layers of gel are fused and baked together. Also, you guys, I want to ask you if you get the notifications when we go live. Let me know in the comments below. Because sometimes we all know that social media platforms can have their moments. We're going to use our fantastic file to oh, blend in the shape. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. I do. You know what happens with me. I know. My view count has been up and down. It's been really strange. I don't know why. Like, some days I'll have 100 views. Other days I'll have 10. I'm like, what's going on? What's your problem, Facebook? So we're gonna take our fantastic file and we're gonna file the sides very, very straight. Very, very sharp. Now let us begin the blending of the cuticle. Where are my bits to blend the cuticle? Here they are. I'm going to use my golden wand bit. Bonjour Max, bonsoir. We're going to begin the blending of the cuticle area. Always leave a little bit of space at that cuticle area so that way that bit can go in there and really blend out really super easily. If you apply the nail all the way to the back, like almost flush, it's impossible for the bit to get it in and really blend it out. I'm gonna take my drill bit at a really low speed, like at one or two, and really like airbrush that cuticle, okay?
Beautiful. So let's go in now with our purple buffer. Remove the shine of the entire phalange. Are you guys loving the new 123 Go XXL Sculpted series? We will be launching a um, XXL Sculpted Square as well too. That'll be in early fall 2021. The other thing I was telling the girls on Instagram is, let me know if you guys want to know, hear the, the, the rumors, the gossip. Let me know if you guys want to hear some tea. So now we're gonna go in with these two fabulous colors. Very lip glossy. Claire's lip gloss was the theme. So we're gonna do one coat of BB70, which is this beautiful sparkly lip gloss pink. that color so beautiful you know we do spill all the tea well if you didn't get a chance to um, catch our Instagram live what I told the girls was that I'm actually working on a line of vegan mink eyelashes and also a, um, a makeup sponge that will be called peaches and it's gonna be called peaches because that is my hairless chihuahua's name and the sponge kind of looks like her because it's like a pinkish peach color with a little bit of fuzz on it. So for the girls that want the long eyelashes that are mink, vegan mink, you will be able to check out our eyelash line. Bye bye. So now I'm going to layer BB66 on top. So take a layer of BB66 and kind of like float the color on top, okay? Look how beautiful that is. So now we're gonna bake it for one minute. So cool. I don't wear makeup. And what's a vegan mink? So the, the mink eats vegan cheese. It drinks beer because beer is technically vegan and french fries. I'm just kidding. It's synthetic mink. On your website, yes, it'll be at the um I think we'll launch the eyelashes and the makeup sponge in June. And they will be on the website, yes. No, it's not a, a, fa a vegan mink. It's not a mink from, uh, from Portland or from San Francisco. <laughs> I have never worn eyelashes before. The eyelash industry is huge and we wanted to um, introduce a product that was fun and that was glamorous for the girls because the girls love some eyelashes. Is there any pictures you can show us? No, no, no. If I showed you, then it wouldn't be a surprise. Are you going to do makeup? Uh, not this year. But it has been something I have been contemplating for a long time. So. I cured the final layer for one minute and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Lux brush wipe with my hand sanitizer and I'm going to remove the sticky layer. Give it a few seconds to air dry so that way I can apply my stickers directly on top. Oh no no no. It is made out of synthetic material. Now the uh, technology has really improved. And so has the quality in regards to synthetic materials in uh, hair and also in other industries like uh, synthetic furs and things like that. Bye bye. So our, our uh, mink line, our lash line is uh, synthetic. So let's apply some of these beautiful 
Mr. and Mrs. Teddy Bear to the phalanges. I love it because they're a couple. So let's apply. Bye bye. Guys, press down super firm. Make sure there's absolutely no bubbles in the nail, okay? And we'll do a pink card in between. Isn't that adorable? And remember, so essential to use a silicone tool to really press down firmly. And our silicone tool said it has five different shapes, you guys. So that way there is something for everybody. And there's a different use for every single one of them. So I think that's so great. And they're also super affordable too. And let's add a few little stars in there for the girls. Do you sell those tweezers? Yes, I do. They're on the website, our pink tweezers. Don't apply the stickers ever to the edge. If the sticker's too close to the edge, get your pink scissors and trim that sticker so that way it lays really flat. If the sticker's way too close to the edge, it will peel. apply clear press on gel over the entire nail and this is going to melt the sticker into the nail and it's also going to be our base to apply the glitters and today's glitters are Coco Bob and uh, Prisma so a nice even thin coat over the entire nail make sure the entire nail is coated okay just melts into the nail yes melody and prisma sorry my mistake so many glitters it's hard to keep up thank you i appreciate that so this is prisma and this is melody
endless shrimp on Monday, paired steak with lobster on Wednesday, bundled crispy shrimp in a drink on Thursday, then came the finishing touches, like a great price. New daily deals are here, all day weekdays at Red Lobster. Grace just transferred here from East River. The teenage years are limbo. You ever had a girlfriend? No, I don't really know this stuff. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful. Okay, goodbye, Henry, and whatever her name is. Look at that, you guys. The sticker is just melted into the nail. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and bake that for. 30 seconds because we are going to add a layer of shiny on top of the entire phalange to shrink wrap everything and just make it seamless. So now let's apply a layer of shiny. glossy and then I'm gonna do a little layer on the inside to make the nail completely transparent because remember our nails are pre-etched so if you want a clear Cinderella glass like slipper look just a little layer of shiny on the inside and there we have it so let's bake it for one minute it goes perfect with the nails doesn't it the song And then we're going to finish, of course, with cotton and candy cuticle oil. Have you guys had a chance to order the um, sculpted XXL coffin and stiletto? You guys are going to love them so much. Especially for the girls that want a little bit more of an apex, that want a little bit more of a deeper C-curve versus our regular XXL nails. Oh, so dope. She's done baking. So let's apply a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil. Keep everything moist. And there we have it, you guys. It is a lifestyle choice to wear the phalanges this long. Look at that, you guys. So beautiful. Oh, let's give you the Ariana Grande pose because I'm wearing a sweater today. They go perfect with my um, sweater, with my jumper, as they would say in jolly old UK. Look at that. So stunning. Beautiful. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed this adorable sticker design. Super cute. Super sweet cream. Unicorn Barbie fantasy. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best American-made nail products in the universe. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one.